Welcome guys, I hope you're having a great day so far. Now let's jump on into this read, let's see what we got going on. I remember guys, this is going to be a general read, so it may or may not uh, resonate with you guys. Uh, maybe bits and pieces will. Uh, take what fits, feel free to leave the rest guys. Let's see what the energy cards have to say. All tied up on storm warning, interesting. A uh, storm warning usually warns us, oh, some sort of a storm, some sort of an event coming. And action. This is like somebody taking action. This is like somebody's had enough. Somebody's feeling all tied up. Uh, and somebody's ready to move on and move forward with that take action. Like somebody's ready to somebody's ready to do something about it. That second chakra. That's your sacral chakra. So it does speak to uh, desires. It speaks to creativity. Let's see how it all fits in here. Why does somebody feel tied up? Somebody's walking away from something though. Whoever feels, whoever's feeling tied up is stepping away from this situation. They're going to take action. They have had enough. They're going to be stepping away and leaving something in the past. Moving on and moving forward with that Knight of Wands. And possibly actually physically moving, like moving a residence, uh, moving to a new home. Uh, we do have the Four of Pentacles too, holding back. Someone feels like they've been tied up. Somebody feels like they've been held back. I was like, I feel like I, I keep getting this impression like it, it's been going on for a while or they felt this way for a while and that's why they finally had enough like the straw that broke the camel's back. And like this storm warning, like when somebody does this, when somebody's finally had enough, this is, it's going to be not like a quiet walking away, like it's going to be a blowout. Like somebody's going to, somebody's going to choose somebody a new asshole before they walk away. And the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles. See, this Queen of Pentacles energy, she's like this generous, uh, caring, sensitive person, sort of nurturing as well. I feel like she's been, or she feels like she's been taken advantage of. This is speaking to the energy of whoever is walking away. So just because we got a queen doesn't necessarily mean that this is a woman that's going through this. This is just the energy that comes forward. Uh, and it's, it's like somebody who's generous, somebody who's probably pretty patient, and somebody who's pretty probably most likely giving a lot more than they've been getting and I feel like this is part of the problem is like they feel like they give and give and give and someone just takes and takes and takes and it's like they feel like it's been going on for too long they want to step away like they've had enough and it's like I said it's not going to be a quiet moving away this is going to be like like she's gonna she's gonna tear somebody a new asshole when she goes she's gonna tell them exactly what she thinks with this seven of wands And the page of wands. She's going to be speaking her piece. Speaking her piece to somebody. And there's the tower card. So something's coming to an end. And this is the storm warning. This is what she's walking away from. The tower card is representative of that. And that might be a sort of a situation that she's in. This could be a relationship that she's in. This could be within her job or within her career. Whatever it is, she has absolutely had enough. And she finally sees... She sees some sort of clarity in this situation. Like, because I feel like this has been going on for a while, whatever this is. And now it's like it's finally come clear to her that whatever it is, it's not going to change. And so, like, for her own, for her own happiness, her own sanity, she got to fucking walk away from something. Uh, we do have the world card there. That world card represents positive things manifesting. But these are not ones that show up under the blue. These are ones that you have to earn uh, by, by working for things for a long time, by making sacrifices, by learning hard lessons from the universe. They're like universal rewards. This tells me that her taking her power back, taking action and moving away from something is going to work out better for her in the long run. That there will be positive rewards waiting for her for making this change in her life. We have the King of Swords here too. Uh, this king of swords might be who she's dealing with on some level. Uh, he can be somebody who's like emotionally cold. Uh, usually, usually dominated by thoughts. Sort of that logical analytical side. Like zero emotion. He's just really cold. Zero emotion. Uh, with her, I feel like she almost feels like this person is very calculating. Like this person does shit on purpose. I don't know if she thinks they're like cunning or manipulative. But like they don't, 
She feels like they don't care about other people's feelings. She feels like this King of Swords, whoever this King of Swords represents to her, does not take her feelings into account. That's the most important part of this court card coming forward. There's like, see, she's having to heal. You know what? Huh. I wonder if she isn't even physically healing from something. Like she hasn't had some sort of injury or illness that she's healing from. And during this time, this person has been like extremely insensitive. And this is part of what's shown her this person's true colors. This is part of what's brought uh, this star card, this clarity about for her. It's like, man, if I'm going through all of this shit... And I'm suffering in this way. I'm in a spot where I really need help and I'm going through a rough time. And this is how this person treats me. Like this person has zero fucking respect for me. This person doesn't care about me. Uh, this person isn't someone who I can count on in the long haul. And this is someone I need to move away from. This is where her clarity came from. And this Empress, this is the energy that she is moving into in embracing her power in taking her power back and not allowing somebody uh, to to i don't know she feels like they're walking all over her uh, she feels like they're taking advantage of her she feels like they don't care they're treating her like shit and like she has absolutely had enough she has had enough uh, and she is she's healing this is still not an easy choice for her whatever this is so i don't know if this is a romantic relationship she's walking away from it's something that does mean a lot to her like this person's opinion uh and the relationship the connection that she had with them whatever it was did have emotional meaning to her so it's not an easy choice for her to make but she just she can't do this anymore and recognizing this person's true colors and that things aren't going to change like i said i feel like it's like the straw that broke the camel's back all this shit that happens and she is just gonna she's gonna fucking let him have it and she's gonna walk away this is part of her taking her power back this is part of her coming into this empress energy and finding this this power in independence and within herself and looking after herself and doing what's right for her. Let's see if we can get a few more cards for clarification. So the Justice card. The Justice card is all about balance. Balance. And I don't necessarily feel like it's speaking to the court, the court system or anything to do with the court system. This is like her finding balance within herself. This is her uh, not taking shit from anybody anymore. This is her not playing somebody's game, whatever this fucking game is that he was running. And there's this lack of emotion, lack of caring. And it's like, she's just had enough and she's going to do what's emotionally right for her. She's going to do uh, what's going to help her find healing. She's going to do what's going to help her find happiness. And it, she has decided that it will not include this King of Swords. This King of Swords is someone she needs to move away from to find her happiness. We do have the page of pentacles as well so this page of pentacles i uh, usually heralds in good news and pentacles can speak to finance it can also speak to education too i feel like this is definitely speaking to learning something not like academic education this is speaking to her clarity in that star card and realizing this for herself uh, that this is something that she needs to walk away from this is something that uh, she's not going to find happiness uh, from staying in the situation to find her healing to find her moving forward uh, to be able to truly embrace that empress energy and find the success that she desires and the happiness that she desires in life. She needs to move away from whatever this is. And we have the king of pentacles here too. And this king of pentacles, uh, he can, again, he can represent somebody who is, who is an earth sign. I don't know if I went through that with the, with the queen of pentacles. Uh, pentacles isn't sort of an earth element. So this could be Capricorn, uh, Virgo, uh, or a Taurus. But again, he sort of, he brings forward those same qualities, that, that caring, that caring, that kindness. Or this is like, this is either going to be her energy coming forward and embracing her power within herself or recognizing that there is somebody out there who is better matched for her, somebody out there who does care for her in whatever way this relationship took form. Like I said, this might not necessarily be romance. This might be in a work situation and she might realize that there are better options out there for her with people who she's going to connect with better people who care uh, about her. If it's romance, it's the same thing. She's realized that there's other people out there uh, who are going to treat her better than this person is. She doesn't have to play this person's game anymore. 
I also believe this King of Pentacles is just bringing her energy forward. We're staying with Pentacles. We're staying with somebody finding self-empowerment, somebody moving forward, somebody finding happiness, and we'll find success in moving on here. And the Fool card, perfect. So that Fool card is is definitely speaking to, to this new perspective that she's gained. It's like opening her eyes, uh, realizing what's going on with this King of Swords, being able to see him for who he is, being able to see the situation for what it is. This is what's going to help her to not feel tied up anymore. This is what's going to help her to break free, to take action and to make her choice. And she's not going to, like I said, she's not going to walk away from whatever this is quietly. Uh, she's going to tell, she's going to tell this King of Swords exactly what she fucking thinks on the way out. So he's going to hear all about it. And for her, that's actually going to be extremely empowering as well. Alrighty guys, I hope that you enjoyed the read. I remember if you do find value in them, if you do enjoy them, please hit that like button or that subscribe button. It definitely helps the channel out. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.